Hi, I'm Katie, and welcome to another bookish adventure. So it is Tuesday the 20th, and I have to be so, so quick right now. It is my friend's birthday today, and I'm gonna head back out. I've literally just got back from work. I'm gonna head out and get some drinks with her. I'm very happy, and then at some point we're gonna do a meal. But the reason why I wanted to talk to you first is because I have finally all oh, my Etsy post. I was trying to figure out what to buy her, because she's quite hard to shop for, but then I get like random ideas. I'm like, oh my God, this would be amazing. So finally, all of my Etsy post is here i love this one this one says open me so hopefully yes all of her stuff is here i know at least this one is hers because i recognize straight away the like the label sort of thing because i love it it says wonder stop wondering and wonder so hopefully the other two will all be her present as well oh wow Oh no, it's like perfectly like neatly wrapped. No! I need to check it's okay. Oh my God, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? You know what, we're not gonna do it. We're not gonna open it because it is perfectly wrapped, but it is by wondercollective.co.uk or check them out on Etsy. I found her this really super cute, I absolutely love it. I will like get a photo here so you can see it. This really super cute like little savings jar and they had lots of different ones you can get the customized, but I saw one that was really cool. Oh, I love it and they've even included a little thank you card saying thank you for your order katie carefully packed by sarah okay next item in a cute little box please don't be gift wrapped it's not gift wrapped thank god this is another really cute little like bespoke item and it's a cute little necklace hopefully my camera will focus this is just a cute little necklace i absolutely adore it with like the little j like em embe embellished embossed embossed in it and you could pick from three different colors which was silver gold or rose gold i pick rose gold she tends to wear all three actually but i feel like when i think of her i associate rose gold with her there is no little card in this and i can't remember what the shop is called and i don't have oh the lost bubbles i think that's what they're called but i will include all the details in the description box and then this is going really well we've like got two for three right now like please i think this could be it because it says please do not bend thank you so fingers crossed can we get three for three? Oh, so look oh my god yes yes it's come with an envelope yay <laughs> okay so this is from i want to say betsy's betsy's den and it's a cute little friends forever pinky promise little just cute little charm bracelet so what gave me the inspiration for this is at christmas gavin got me one which is really similar to this but it's harry potter inspired and it's got like the little i don't know why i'm showing you i don't have a tattoo of it but it's got the little lightning bolt on it and it is very similar it says close your eyes and make a wish as you tie this bracelet on your wrist when the bracelet breaks into the wish you made might just come true and it was very like the one he got me was very similar it was like personalized with my name what i really liked about these they had loads of different types of bracelets you could pick from because i saw one with a bee and a moon like loads of different ones what i loved is that you could pink your color cord and i went for teal which is a very jade color jade i think apparently it's like greens and blues and occasionally gold and yeah you could also pick they had lots of actual different ones that is probably her telling me to get my ass into town lots of little cute little charms to have but i yeah i just really like the little pinky promise one i feel like i've gotten her some really cute and just adorable little things like things that I would appreciate as well and quite personal to her but yeah especially like the first thing I bought her was the savings jar and the second I saw that I just thought oh my god it's such a cute little jade present and then I just fell down the rabbit hole of Etsy so like I said I will put all the information down below in the description box so you can check them out as well I am now going to get changed I'm going to wrap all this up I have a gift bag which I'm 99% sure I do they're really nice although technically I don't need to wrap anything up this is in a box this is in an Etsy below and this is wonderfully wrapped that i can't open it right let's go do this go, let's go get ready and oh god i'm in so much pain from work but let's go drink guys i did something crazy i chopped off all my hair <laughs> and now that i'm touching it i'm kind of freaking out a little bit i have been thinking about doing this for a while now actually and i've been putting off doing the big chop because ever since i've transitioned i have always wanted to have really amazing long curly hair and i see all these people on instagram and on youtube with this amazing hair and i've been trying my best and I won't lie, I've gotten my hair to an amazing healthy point without having to chop it off. And then I got box braids and then, I don't know, whilst in the decision of that, I kind of went, okay, let's chop it all off. I don't know. The woman was amazing. She was cutting in layers at the same time as cutting it because she was like combing it out. And then you know how like they chip at it, but she was doing it the other side and like higher up and she was like scissoring down and then she was getting the top layers and she was twirling them and then taking her scissors and just cutting and then combing. And I'm sat there like, 
don't freak out, don't freak out, don't freak out. Now I've like come home and I've like put my own product on it and I've just given it a quick blitz with the blow dry because I don't tend to like blow dry for too long. And yeah, <laughs> I got rid of all my hair. I meant to say before, obviously like the start of this video, I obviously don't have my box braids anymore. They came out the weekend, took like an hour to come out. Was crazily surprised at how soft my hair was considering I actually only put product on it once. But I think that came down to the fact that I didn't actually wash my hair as much as I thought I would need to. My scalp after that first wash just stopped being itchy and I suddenly had a lot less build up. So I actually only put like a moisturizer on it once. I've not been put off by doing it, you know, so far my experience with box sprays have been really good and I really like them. The hair loss was ridiculous. Like the amount of like shedding trapped inside them plaits was ridiculous. This is the best 15 pound haircut I've ever had in my entire life. Hey, so it's Saturday, my final day of the week for vlogging. So first of all, I just want to let you know that this will be the last video just only for a week like not ever obviously but uh, I'm going on holiday next week so I will obviously be filming whilst away there isn't really much point in me really sort of filming a reading vlog for next week not really and also I don't want the stress of trying to deal with making sure it's uploaded when I go I know I can do the whole scheduling thing but uh, I don't know I'd just rather not do it this is a video I actually would have made for next week or what I'm about to talk about anyway which are the books I'm taking with me on holiday so obviously I will be taking Queen of Shadows I will be finishing air of fire if it kills me so yeah i will definitely be reading this it is quite a big book so um i'm hoping that i will actually get a lot done because i'm planning to do a lot of sunbathing i'm going to take the wicked deep i decided to take something from my tbr because you know that would be a really good idea to take something from the tbr pile i'm really excited to read this book and actually read it quite soon after it's been released and after i got given it and it's also quite a small one as well because you know that book is quite a big one and i'm finishing air of fire which is the only kind of big one so i want to read this one first it's like a nice break in between the two books and then finally i will be taking my kindle with me i plan to continue reading jace cameron's alice in wonderland retelling insanity again those are some really nice short books doesn't take a lot of sort of thinking power or anything like required to like you know <laughs> pay attention really so yeah and also my plan is general you know if we go to the beach and decide to just camp out and have like a nice beach day i want to take a physical book and not have to worry about someone stealing my kindle and then that way you know when i'm poolside i can read my kindle but yeah i want to take two books just to break up reading Air of Fire and you know, Shadows because I just feel like we're getting to a point where it's going to start getting heavy and really full on and I feel like stuff is, I don't know, I just get this feeling that momentum might start gathering and we might be kind of leading to some way now. I feel like now that she is kind of training with her magic and sort of really becoming who she's been trying to suppress for so long, I feel like actually maybe now we're going to start making some moves towards something. So those are the books that I will be taking with me on a holiday. Air of Fire. I am really enjoying this book but it's just taking me so long to get there I feel like I'm not making any progress but then I've looked today and I'm at about 70% now heading to 80% so I'm getting this book done next week whether it kills me I just yeah I'm gonna take it with me to Gavin's tonight if I have any spare time if he's like doing like washing up or something or I'm planning to go like sit in his garden now and just bake under the sun you know kind of get a pre-tan going on then um yeah I will read this because that's kind of just what I really want to do is get this finished at the moment I am starting to like Selena more I know I'd said previously that I was enjoying everyone else a story before i've realized dorian actually hasn't been in it that much which isn't really bothering me but suddenly yeah now that we're actually i said before that it felt like when it came to like magic it said that stuff happened and she did stuff but we didn't get to experience it as it happened where recently what i've been reading that hasn't been happening and we're actually experiencing stuff as it's happening like her feelings when she's using it trying to control it experiencing you know the depth of what her magic can do in the reach so like i finally feel like i'm getting what i wanted what i really want i think i've said this before about how stuff from the novellas hasn't really been talked about in these books i can't remember if i did it might be something i said to myself that i wanted to talk about regardless i'm kind of disappointed we haven't had the king assassin appear yet and i've been waiting for it and then i started to think wait did she kill him but then i was like no he didn't he sent her to the mines like he probably planned to take her back for a minute i was like wait is he dead am i like forgetting something really important but no he's not dead that he's just never been referenced and this is what i mean all this stuff from the people from previous books just are never mentioned and it really annoys me because I think that explains so much of Selena's character and explains so much with Sam. Like she keeps mentioning Sam and that horrible pit in her like stomach that she gets when she thinks about Sam. We don't know, like it's not ever explained like why and her relationship with him isn't explained why and why that was so important and everything with Cole. Kale, 
kale? Yeah, kale. I know, it's already saying coals, I'm sorry. Like, just, I can't help it. It's just one of those things where I just kind of feel like those novellas really set up a lot of why Selena acts and feels like she does. So it's frustrating that it's not really mentioned at all. But hey, you can't do anything about it. If you haven't read them yet, definitely read the novellas first because you just get a really good insight into Selena's past and who she is. And it just really adds extra to the story. Like, it really does. Some novellas don't matter. This one, to me, like, it really does. So that's it, my last reading vlog for a week. It feels weird that I won't have to worry about filming for next week. It's kind of strange. The only thing I need to film is on Monday, I will be filming my reading wrap up. I hate that I have to film it so early compared to when I finish because by the time it goes up on Thursday, there's a really good chance I will have finished this book or will be so close because I really don't want to take it on holiday with me. I'm just going to take a valuable, valuable space. So I'm going to find a way somehow to really just like get through it because I don't know why it feels like it's taking me so long and the books are getting bigger and I and the year is kind of nearly at its end and there are other books that I've like said I really want to read sort of October and December time so I'm just oh I'm god I'm determined but I feel like I'm gonna fail. <laughs> that is me out if you enjoyed this video smash that like button show me your thumbs and your love and support means the world to me and always comment below it doesn't even have to be related to this video just chat about whatever you feel like are you going on holiday where are you going what books are you taking what are you gonna do tell me tell me everything and if you're new hi welcome hit that subscribe button and check out all my previous videos plenty for you to catch up on and plenty more to come so excited for my holiday you have no idea guys the other thing that was the other thing i knew there was something else i had to mention when i come back with my next video basically i've decided that i want to start posting weekly reading vlogs on a thursday instead so same two days monday thursday i'm just flipping them around um yeah i just like the idea of when i put up a weekly reading vlog part of that weekly reading vlog will actually have been that week um because obviously you're seeing stuff that happened to me last week so i just feel like it'll feel a bit more current and a bit nicer so i will be filming wednesday to wednesday yeah there probably won't be a video monday i say probably i mean there won't i come home sunday i will sleep this is how it all works. I probably won't do much. I won't even know what to talk about. Which will be nice because it means I'll have a break and then I can probably edit Monday. So yeah, I've got a whole week extra of doing nothing. So there will only be that one video when I come back. Okay, I promise I'm definitely done talking now. Enjoy the rest of your day and I hope you have a great week. Bye.